I got this invitation online, of course, in the chat room from this guy who I always talked to for about, I've been talking to him about a year online. Never met him, but we just never get our schedules together. So, he decided that he wants to go ahead and meet today. And I went, well, my wife is about, oh, 300, what, 200 miles away. Um, she won't be back later tonight. I'll be at work. I said she'd be back. Uh, she take advantage of it. I am in the middle of Pond Far. Uh, Star Trek people get that joke, Pond Far. Uh, it's, you know, that Vulcans mate once every seven years. And when they, when they, when that once in seven year come, they just go crazy because they're all anxious and horny. Bonfire. So basically, I'm in Bonfire. And I'm very anxious and horny. So, but it's just there's something about that situation I didn't want to take advantage of. I don't know what it was about. I just think the fact it was with all that's going on here, I shouldn't be trying to get laid. It's just like, I just shouldn't try to do it, you know. It's just something that's telling me, like, hello, don't get laid. You're going to make things worse. I mean, like, <laughs> like just watch it well. You know, so that's why I turned it down. I mean, pretty much. I mean, he's ready to go. That and what we get offered is tea girls We get no respect. I mean, <laughs> it's not funny. It's just the fact that if they treat tea girls like this, how in the gee golly fuck do they treat real women? I mean, GGs, generic girls, you know what I'm saying? If you think, if they treat, they don't treat their wives like that, they don't treat their girls like that, they just try to treat tea girls like that. Why, you may Maybe ask? I, I have a theory. Because, I think it's because we're lonely, and they know we're lonely. They're, they're, gay, know we they're worse than pigs. Some guys are just scum. I mean, there are some guys that are really nice. That are really go out for you, but it's just some guys that just treat you. And mostly it's T girls, like they just like a bed. They just lay on them, and I was like, uh, uh, I'm not having that. Okay, I mean, I like it's not like I couldn't go in. I'm just tired. I had a long day at work. I wouldn't sleep yet. I've been up like 16 hours because I want to dress because I, I gotta feel good. I gotta feel like D. I gotta feel like myself, not like D. You never talk to yourself in third person. I want to feel myself. I want to express myself. So I will stay up and I will sacrifice sleep or anything just to get it done. So, um, I'm, I just, I'm, hold on, I'm just kind of speechless with. So here I am, on, on, and I can take advantage of this situation, and I can do it, but I just don't want to because I'm tired. And I didn't want, I didn't want just to go somebody there and do this and do that. And then come back home. Why? I mean, I didn't want him to come over here. That the thought of him coming over never entered my mind. I can tell you honestly, it didn't, not once. Because number one, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna have him come over here. Number two, that's just not the way I am. And this is rude, disrespectful, you know. So I just kind of like. You know, push them off. I just, and and top of that, irritates me. But the simple fact is that I am unequivocally. You know, want you desire somebody, and you desire love and attention and respect, sex, and just to be held. What is a tea girl to do? What is a tea girl to do? Hmm. I do not know, but I think I need to help and find out.